birthday. It's your birthday. I wish I was hanging upside down right now. He looked like 75 cents. <laughs> he did. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of course I'm Rick. If you don't know what we're talking about, you didn't see the Super, Super Bowl, Bowl halftime show. Yep. Uh, where Curtis Jackson was there, upside down. You should absolutely do yourselves a favor and watch that halftime show, especially if you love hip hop. But even if you didn't, they nailed it at every level. It was yeah. one of the best ever. I know most of you don't watch the Super Bowl because uh, you don't like American football, but the halftime show is definitely worth watching. Yeah, it really was. And everybody, Snoop, Dr. Dre, Snoop. 50 Cent. Mary J. Blige, Eminem, everybody killed it. The dancers killed it. The set design killed it. It was awesome. Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> and we are still on Romance Month. And this is a the of the review of the 2009 film Jogwa. Is that how you pronounce that? Jogwa? Why not? Jogwa? Yeah. Either Jogwa or Jagwa. Jagwa? Yeah. Uh, the Marathi film. Uh, directed by Rajiv. Uh, Rajiv Patil. Patil. And starring Upendra LeMay, and forgive mispronunciations, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you artists happen to be watching. Uh, Mukta Barve. Yeah. And those, uh, are the, they're the primary the, those are the two leads in the film. Uh, and this is two strangers are forced into a life of servitude uh, to the local deity. They fall in love and went to start a new life, but the wrath of the highly superstitious community. Will the oh will the yeah rather, will it the, the, let them live in peace? That's a little too. That gives you a little too much. There. I don't like that description. That gives you a little too much uh, there. Yeah. But anyways, this film has been requested for a long, long time in terms of Marathi films that people want us to get to. I think this was, I think it was a submission to the Oscars in two thousand nine. I think okay. I could be wrong. You guys can let us know. Um, but anyways, it, it, it had to do with romance and all that kind of stuff. So I swung it into Romance Month to get us a Marathi film as well. But this will be a 100% spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Uh, you can get it on Amazon or uh, I think YouTube. Or there's probably a bunch of other places if you speak Marathi that you can actually watch it. But with subtitles, that's where we got to see it. But Rick, yep. your initial thoughts, please. Well, here comes the paragraph for our 11th film of the year, our 218th all time, and our 10th Marathi film. If you've ever seen people diving for pearls or digging for gold, you understand a very simple principle of life. We often have to love finding something valuable so much that we're willing and able to dive down and sift through some silt or dig through some dirt in order to find it. The same principle can sometimes be applied in the world of cinema. If you love cinema, the art of movie making and the hearts of those who make them, you ought to be willing and able to dive down and sift through some silt or dig around some dirt in order to find the more worthy and treasurable parts of a film. Sometimes we sift and dig and come up with nothing but salt and dirt. But sometimes, if you love the work of finding it, you can find some really valuable things in movies some others might throw away, and that's how I feel about Jagwa. It has a lot of proverbial silt and muck you need to sift through, but if you love cinema and care to do that dirty work, you can't help but recognize a ton of sparkling little places throughout this movie that make it more of a gem worth keeping. Mm. It also helped me understand like my, my critiquing of a film. Mm. I'm just keeping it simple from now on. I, I, I've got so many things I could do to grade and to score. But you know, sometimes we watch reactions and it's over and I, I'm like a trailer and I'll go, I'm in. Mm -hmm. So for me, the bottom line is, am I in or am I out? Mm -hmm. Would I recommend somebody watch it that ultimately for this one, it won, it finally won me over. I wasn't there. I, I the was end. ultimately in, in the end. Yeah. In the end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree there. It's, this is not a perfect film and I think Probably a lot of it has to do with budgetary. It, I'd imagine it has a ridiculously low budget when this was yeah. made. I'd imagine. But the biggest issues I have with the film are probably budgetary. Okay. Um, and I mean, there are some stylistic stuff that I did have a, that have an issue with as well. Yeah, I do. I'll talk about but, some of the things uh, that were my I major issues. I think overall, this film is definitely worthy in terms of there's a lot of artistic merit in yeah. a lot of the performances, a lot of the um, uh, the, the songs and the, the, the and score the behind it. Yeah, and the cinematography. And then obviously... Uh, the overall um, message and the mm -hmm. and the end as well, I think, is definitely worthy. Right. With some um, stuff that, uh, yeah, I don't, maybe if there was a different budget, it would have changed, or that I would have just preferred to be a little different. But yep. yeah, overall, I definitely think it's a worthy watch. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Come back. Yep. Let's. Because uh, we'll let's, talk about it in yeah, spoiler let's form. Let's start with our leads, I suppose. Um, I thought they both, both of them, uh, Upendra and um, Mukta. Mukta. 
both did really, really well. Agree. Uh, they had really good chemistry, and I was, especially, because it took me a second to figure out what was going on, right? Oh, yeah, know, you, absolutely. It took me a while. Like, yeah. Okay, okay, this is a cult. Right. Okay, this is... This is not normal. This right. is like a weird kind of. Like it well, took me a, a minute. Okay, why is he right? Not why just does he that have to it's wear a dress. Yeah, yeah, but that like family members can purposefully submit you yeah. to serve the rest of your life in submission to the deity. Yeah, whether you wanted it to happen or not. Yeah, yeah. That so was it took new. me. It took me a minute because I was like, is yeah. this like a culture? No, this is like. This is really weird. Right. This is like a weird, full-on cult, cult kind of thing yeah. um, that they were going through. And then there was also some, because I think it has some like religious stuff in there sure. with the cult. But that's how I was like, is this like, this is not like Hindu stuff, right? This is like, this is like weird. I don't, I've never, I've never seen. And then trying to piece together some of the stuff we had learned from like, so, uh, I think that that Bengali film that. Um, with uh, Reedy, Reedy Zen. You know, people yeah. would go and get the, what is it called? The. He asked for when you go door to door when you went to ask alms. for alms. Yep. Uh, and so I was trying to piece together all that kind of stuff, and yep. so it got a little confusing. And then it, 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 they kind of explained it, and then as it went on, but I thought he did a really, really good job at showing the emotion behind this ridiculously complex situation Great. that was going on. Yeah, I agree. And I thought of the two, taking nothing away from him because I thought he did it with everything he was given and what he was required to do. I thought he did a very good job. Mm -hmm. um, she, for me, was my favorite part yeah. of the film, and yeah, she, she had some real moments. Strong. Yeah, she had some moments for me that were just beautiful. Yeah, some really tender moments, um, the intimacy moments when th that came about. I just I found her to pretty much be strong through yeah. every moment of the film. Yeah, she was yeah. great. She was really captivating on screen. Yep, they had some really beautiful moments. The the cinematography. Oh my this thing. goodness, for, guys! For, you guys can let me know what the budget of this, but I'd imagine it was ridiculously small. And what they did, it was kind of like, it was it was gorgeous what they did. Not only with, obviously, there was a lot of score in this. Yeah. Uh, it was overscored to my liking. No, no, like I'm talking like song, song, but not the, not over, the, not the yeah. overdramatic okay. kind of Okay, you're stuff. talking about the songs. I'm talking about the like, songs I thought were yeah. incredibly good. Yeah, I'm talking about those. Not the, because uh, I do agree, great. and we'll talk about that, but yeah. the, 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 the songs were great. Overscoring of certain parts, I do agree. Uh, <laughs> Um, but the, the, the amount, like when they, when they were doing like the dance number and it kept going and kept going, there was so many beautiful, like silhouette shots. Absolutely. There was so many beautiful. Backlighting like, shots. It was gorgeous. Framing shots. So the cinematographer uh, Sanjay Jadhav working hand in hand with Rajiv Patel. Your choices of cinematography and some shots that were so, there's a beautiful shot when they're sitting by the river. And the camera comes up and over and mm -hmm. sees them and frames them in between the branches. Mm -hmm. And then there's another distant shot where they're framing something in a doorway. And the amount of time and attention to that cinematography detail uh, was making me emotional. When I, when I was writing my paragraph, I was explaining it to Indrani because I was watching it. She, she was asleep. I was watching early, early in the morning. And she asked me how I liked it. And I said, I have a lot of problems with the film just from a, a, a discipline aspect in terms of the actual uh, undertaking of some, like the overscoring, and we'll get yeah, into yeah, that, yeah, and there yeah. were some chunky uh, editing selections, yeah, and yeah, there yeah. were some things, even with exposition done through dialogue versus giving it an imagery. Yeah. But the, the amount of care that these filmmakers went to, everybody, the amount of care that went into making this look right and feel right, uh, it really felt like for everybody this was a labor of love for them to accomplish. Yeah. And it's kind of like if, if, I don't mean this as an, an insult in any way, I'm giving this just as an example comparatively of your heart towards someone's creative output. If you have a, if you had like a seven-year-old kid show you their, their drawing and it's genuinely pretty for someone their age, it's like way better than you could have ever done at seven, yeah. but it's still not something you would put in the Louvre, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's not going to be at the level of what we talk about with elevative artistry and you can recognize they're outside the lines, they're doing... But you're really going to point that out when you can see the heart of what they wanted to make? And that's a, that is exactly how I feel about this movie. That yeah. There's way more. But the sad thing is that it does require, especially from someone in the West, and it's not just cultural differences. Mm -hmm. There are some things that if you understand the art form, that will frustrate you. And yeah. it could really push some people away from continuing to watch. Yeah, and I think the biggest ones I think you mentioned are... 
in some aspects of the film, not the songs, because I think all the songs were absolutely phenomenal. I think they were really, really well done. But some of the background score yes. of when there's like dialogue are like K3G over dramatic or soap opera. -y. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, uh, and that's that's what I think K3G. <laughs> yeah, there is. were <laughs> yeah there were soap opera. <laughs> there were moments when they you know the music stopped, and it, there was a pattern. Music would stop. Two lines would be delivered, and then the music would come back. Come back yeah. And I was like, kept like we got to the toward the end of the yeah. film, like here comes two lines, and there's the music. Cue music, second yeah. line in. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, <laughs> I might have just it's obviously for for a while it was the style, and this is 2009. Sure. Still a little late, but it's just once again I think we'll always say it if there's ever a film like it, that's just not our taste uh, yeah. to, to have scores, uh, background score like that. And and then there was just a few uh, actors, like the mom was a little over dramatic for me at times. Yeah. yeah. But apparently that's just how moms in India are, because that's like a common theme in yeah. films, is for the moms to be this over dramatic mess. Correct. Um, and so maybe I'm still just not there with the right, moms. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, everybody else is like real grounded, real nice, and, and then the mom Mom comes on, it's like, ugh. <laughs> it's just bothersome still to me. Yeah. And then the other part I, I do agree is that the editing is extremely choppy yeah. at times. Very, very chunky spots. Which is editing. one of the, the budgetary things. It's like, you don't realize how, how like, it costs money to make a film look as good as it does. Not only with editing, but with color correction, but with um, uh, the, the, I guess, the score, background score behind it, with the cinematography, with the everything. It costs a lot of money to make it look good. Yes. And so I don't know if that's what it was, or if it's just they, the editor didn't do as good of a job. It, it can, it can all, yeah, it can be an experience in editing, I don't know. It just, that was one of the things. It was a very clunky. Yeah, it was, the editing selection was clunky, so that there wasn't a real fluidity. But I will say there were moments that there was some, in fact, as we got toward the end, there were some musics where, there were some moments I meant, that blended well enough that I thought to myself, I wonder if this director really likes Mel Gibson because I love Mel Gibson mm -hmm. and I can pick up other people who, who are inspired by him. Yeah. And there were some selections of musical choice and flow and using nature that reminded me of Apocalypto. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. and, and it, which is a high compliment. And then there were other segments that were just like, <laughs> like, I don't know if they were, I don't, whatever, don't want to harp on that. But the other thing I've mentioned earlier and I'm going to give an example for this for those of you who may not know what I'm referring to. So a, a huge part of storytelling, and it doesn't matter where you're putting it and what format, is, is exposition, where you have to explain some of yeah. what's been going on prior to now. Yeah. Here is an example. I'm going to give you two quick examples. of, of And then nothing from the film. I'm just giving you an example of this. Here's good exposition and bad exposition for the same topic. Bad exposition. Two guys are walking down the street at the beginning of the film uh, by a river, and one turns to the other and says, you know, Bob went to fetch water and he's been missing for two days. That's bad exposition. <laughs> that same element, telling the audience Bob's been gone for two days, would be more would be better done where you see an image of a woman standing outside of her house and it's almost full nightfall and she's looking out in the woods and she's worried. And then it pans down and you see a little girl holding on who looks up and the mom looks down at her and says, he's going to be okay. That immediately makes you realize Someone's out there, someone's in danger, and we haven't been spoon-fed everything. It's considered weak writing to just tell us something through exposition. Mm -hmm. And it's a common thing that happens, and it happened at the outset and a couple of spots in here. But if you haven't been trained otherwise, yeah. you see it happen enough mm -hmm. that it's something that's easy to do, especially if you don't want the film to be three hours. It's difficult to put exposition in action form and not verbally. Yeah. I agree. Um, and so probably those are the biggest gripes I'd have with the film. But overall, there's still a bunch that I think is way, way more to way, celebrate. Way, way more to celebrate. Like, um, I think the writing of this film, outside of some of the clunky uh, nature of in what he was saying, I think it's a really unique script. Incredibly unique. Because uh, one, it I had not seen a story that was telling very the unique. style of film of a, of, of a town who's very has the culty kind of deity kind of thing going on, and then the family can force a guy to do <laughs> this thing, and obviously this girl comes in, and she wants to join the trope, and then what they have to do to get out of that, and then the, the end is obviously the, the best part, uh, yeah. I think, of this film. And it's a and great climax. It's, it's, it's a, a great climax. It really builds, yeah. and it ends how I like films to kind of just, <laughs> like a, all right, yeah. that was it. 
that was it, done. <laughs> Which I I enjoy. Yeah. Uh, no, no, like two years later, <laughs> kind of stuff going on. But I think there's I I did enjoy the writing of this film quite a bit. Yes, story wise. How, yes, how how unique it's a great it was. story and and uh, the 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 climax as well. I, I thought it was. I wrote down in my notes watching it. I I I, I loved the. Um, fact that this was an inclusion and I'm so glad that you chose this and that it was recommended to you because this may become the most unique romance mm, film yeah that and I would recommend it as a romance film and it is but beyond original it is it is so unique I can't think of another film I've seen that has a story quite like it yeah and I believed it took me a long time because of the clunky editing, the overscoring, some of the exposition and these things that can really turn you off when yeah. you're expecting that as just to be at a certain level. It took me a while to care for them. Yeah. But once I did care for them, I gladly was rooting for them and really liked that culminating prospect. And a credit to them as well, I really didn't know what was going to happen because up until that point, this film didn't make me think the creators were going to give us a happy ending. So when they're dragging him off to kill him and throw him in the well. I thought they were going to. I thought he was going to die. Or so he that. was going to, when he was flailing his arms, I thought he was going to accidentally flail and cut her open. And oh. she was going to die in his arms. So the fact that I was in that place of, you know, like when you're watching Thrones and anybody's game, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, I... I yeah, I love that part of it. And I, I did really enjoy that. Obviously, there was kind of a slow build up to their relationship, but when they actually did get together, I thought the montage of them actually like, I loved it. falling it in brutal. love and like, you know, having sex or, uh, uh, you know, just their whole relationship actual building together. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a really nice. And then the, basically from there on, I thought the film was really, really nice and, and the, all the way to the climax yeah. uh, where, now, man, that was, that was, that here's, was nice. Here's, a, here's something that I don't know about. Tell me what you think. Hmm. I, I think you'll agree with this and then I'm going to ask you a question. Hmm. It's, it seems to me that this story is actually rated our content put into a PG format. Hmm. Do you think it's best in the format it was in or do you think they could have presented some of the things more... Uh, realistically, graphically, and to, to grab you by the proverbial shirt collar, as it were, in terms of the depth of the severity of some of the things that we were witnessing in this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I always prefer the slapping people in the face with... The reality yeah. of it. Yeah, because life is rated R. Yeah, yeah. I, but kind of it's Indian cinema and right. kind of 2009 Indian cinema right. in Marathi, in Marathi with, cinema. which I know they're they're more known for more artistic films and we've seen a lot of artistic films from them but it's still Indian cinema of course and so you got the censor board that you still have to deal with and you got all this kind of stuff and I think there's also a big difference I could be wrong but I really do think um, Indian cinema from all regions really does draw to as many participants in the theater as possible and they want families to come because yeah. it's a larger group of people coming to see your movie yeah. and so if they're gonna make edits it's not just to appease the censor board I think they're gonna try to make things more universally accepting for yeah. a broader audience uh, not just for the entertainment value but for the dollar value it's more yeah. seats and you know tickets more butts and seats exactly uh, but I I would love to have seen and maybe someone could do it to take this exact same story because it's worth having different retellings of it yeah it could be done in a lot of i'd really love to see two aspects that part maybe a little bit grittier and then i'd like to see and this is difficult to do but for example if you're watching sci-fi they have to do this all the time they have to make you aware of their cultural things very rapidly and they don't expect you to just accept it so if you're learning about Vulcans and Star Trek, they don't just expect you to know it or at least just not think about it. You know, you eventually get to the point where in Star Trek, that means something. If you're watching, you know, Black Panther, that means something because they teach you while they're going. I'd like to see that. And I, I don't I know it's a difficult task, but I would love to have known a little bit more. I got some ideas like when they blew the uh, turmeric in his face, the meaning behind that. Uh, there's just some of those things I know that went over our head. Yeah, my that, bet is that this was made more for an Indian audience. Certainly. And we, we've seen that before. I get it. Uh, I so get like it. People like, if you're from Marathi, you probably like, obviously we know what that means. Right, right. we know what all that means. We know what all this means. Yep. And obviously two white dudes from California are... <laughs> 
aren't going to yeah. be as privy to a lot of the yep. information. But uh, yeah, I do agree. I think uh, like if this was retold, I think you could actually keep a lot of the 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 the, the actors, and you could keep a lot yeah. of even the the filmmakers. Maybe up the budget a little bit um, to help with maybe some of the editing. I think you could keep the exact same composer because I loved all the songs. I, I think all the just songs. Just pull back on the underscoring yeah, a bit. I just a bit. Because it was still nice. It was yeah. just too much. Yeah. Uh, songs were great. Songs were all fantastic. And Muscular Dove sounded beautiful. Of course she did. Of course she did. Of course she did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I got. The, for me, the, the biggest standouts are the story. Yeah. Her yeah. and him. Yeah. Gotta give him credit too, but she was a little higher for me. And then, boy, oh boy. For them to accomplish what they did cinematography-wise, India doesn't cease to amaze over and over with the consistency of what we see in cinematography. Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty, pretty amazing. It's consistent. Yep. It's amazing. Anyways, let us know what you thought about this film, why we're idiots in the comments, as you always do. Yep. Uh, and let us know what the next romance film and Marathi film I would like to get to a lot more. I think you said we only had 10? 10. 10. This really? was number 10. 10. Yeah. This was our 10th. We've seen quite a few that we've really liked. I thought we had more. Yeah, I went, I double checked it on the playlist. Well, I guess it would be, obviously Hindi has the most. Of course. But then I think it's Malayalam. Malayalam. And then Tamil. And then, Tamil. And Tamil. then I think Telugu and Marathi are like neck Two, and neck. Neck and neck. I think so. Those two. And then uh, poor ben, uh, Punjabi and Assamese. Well, yeah. <laughs> Bengali, <laughs> Bengali's pretty high too, but Assamese, Gujarati, Canada, we, you know, we understand. We yep. need to get to it's work. accessibility is a huge, huge factor for us. But anyway, let us know what the next Marathi film that we should watch is down below.